Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to compare the Canon C200 to the Ursa Mini Pro. Canon has always produced amazing cameras, but when it comes to 4K cinema line cameras, uh, they've been always priced uh, a little bit uh, over the top, uh, outside of the reach of uh, most independent filmmakers. Well now with the Canon C200, uh, they finally delivered a camera that is priced actually the same as the Blackmagic Ursa uh, Mini Pro, and it offers uh, many of the same uh, features. Both of these cameras cost $6,000 US just for the body, uh, and uh, I'm gonna compare different aspects of the cameras and kind of uh, award a point in each category, and then at the end, we'll see which camera wins. So first, let's compare the, the actual build of the cameras. Uh, the bodies themselves are similar in many ways and different than others. The Canon C200 has two Pro audio XLR connections. It also, it has buttons to control all the main camera settings. Uh, the camera body itself weighs only 3.2 pounds, which is pretty amazing. The camera even has built-in ND filters with two, four, and six stops uh, of NDs, plus expendable eight and 10 stops. Now, the Ursa Mini Pro also has Pro audio connections, uh, plus built-in NDs, but those are only in two, four, and six stops. Now, the Ursa has a built-in touchscreen LCD, which the Canon C200 uh, doesn't have unless you buy the more expensive version. Or you can also buy the LCD separately. But the Canon C200 has a built-in EVF, which the Ursa doesn't have unless you, again, buy it separately. So I think it kind of equals out there. Uh, what the Ursa has that the Canon C200 doesn't have uh, is uh, two SDI out ports. Uh, also, it has an SDI in and timecode in. Uh, and that kind of is one of the reasons why the, the camera is a little bit bigger and weighs more. Uh, so when it comes to the overall build of the cameras, I would say uh, they both offer equal value, but just with different uh, aspects and uh, different basically preferences. So it really depends on what you like. But when it comes to final score in this category, I'm going to award uh, a point to each of the cameras. Now let's move on to the recording media. Uh, the Canon C300 can record to two SD card slots or one CFAS2 slot. Now, when it comes to Ursa Mini, it has both dual uh, SD cards and dual CFAS 2.0 uh, card slots. Uh, so, in this category, I would say uh, the Ursa wins. And next category are the codecs. So, the Canon uh, C200 records in the new Canon uh, Cinema uh, Camera Raw Light. Uh, it's a new codec that is only right now natively supported in DaVinci Resolve. It can record 4K at 12 bit uh, up to 30 frames per second or 10-bit uh, uh, up to 60 frames per second. It's a compressed RAW codec, so it gives you a little bit extra recording time than the regular Canon uh, Cinema RAW. It's about 15 minutes of 4K RAW on a 128 gigabyte card. Uh, the Canon can also record in a more widely accepted format, like the MP4, uh, but that's in 150 megabits per second when it comes to 4K, and 35 uh, megabits per second uh, in HD, and that's an 8-bit. Whereas the Ursa Mini uh, records in Cinema DNG, and this codec is uh, supported in pretty much any uh, video editing application these days. Uh, the Ursa can also record in Apple ProRes in all the different flavors. Uh, so I would say uh, in this department, again, the Ursa wins uh, because it just offers you more options and uh, in codecs that are more widely accepted. Next, let's compare the slow motion. Uh, both cameras can actually go up to uh, 60 frames per second in 4K and 120 frames per second in HD. The only difference being that the uh, Ursa Mini actually craps in on the sensor when you're shooting 120 frames per second. So uh, I would say in this department, the Canon actually wins. Now, what about the ISO? Uh, the Canon C200 actually goes up to ISO 25600, which Canon claims is usable. It also offers expendable ISO, which goes up to 102400. Now, the Ursa Mini Pro only goes up to ISO 1600. That's it. Uh, so, I would say in this department, the Canon C200 definitely wins. When it comes to the autofocus, the C200 offers Canon's amazing dual pixel uh, AF system whereas the Ursa Mini Pro offers no autofocus at all. So again, uh, in this department, the Canon wins. And the final category is the overall uh, image uh, quality. Both cameras can record in 4K 12-bit uh, with 15 stops of dynamic range. Now, will the cameras look differently? Uh, obviously, yes, because they have different sensors, so they're going to capture light uh, differently. Uh, but I would say both the Canon C200 and the Ursa Mini Pro 
uh, and meet the, the standard expectations of today's uh, cinema line cameras. Uh, so really it just comes down to your preference when it comes to uh, which image sensor uh, gives you the kind of quality that you like. So both cameras score uh, one in this department. Now the final score is gonna be five points for the Canon C200 and four points for the Ursa Mini Pro. So, you know, they're very close. Uh, if you want the latest, newest, uh, I guess the Canon C200 uh, is your camera to go to. Uh, and I'm actually very happy to see that Canon finally kind of stepped up to the plate uh, and maybe it's because of the, the competition right now in the market uh, and finally released an affordable cinema line uh, camera that actually offers modern features. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, if you want more info about either of the cameras, uh, then go visit my website uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.